this lesson, we're going to use a cool um, color sensor from Adafruit, the TCS34725, and uh, build a project that will let us scan a color in and then display that color in a RGB LED. So let's get started. This project uses in RGB LED the um, the color sensor, which is uh, Adafruit part number 1334 some jumpers, and some resistors. The resistors are two 560-ohm and one 1K. All right, let's get started wiring up the board. Okay, let's wire up the board. We have the color sensor right here. Let's plug it in. There are only four pins that matter to us on it. Um, v in goes to five volts. You can just use the, the power bus if you want or you could just plug it in directly. This is very small type, so I'm holding it up close. All right, and the one next to it is ground, and that can go to ground. So there's the ground one in five volts. All right, next on the color sensor, we have the data pin, which is um, marked SDA on the board, and the clock pin, which is marked SCL on the board. Let's plug in SCL to analog pin 5, and SDA into analog pin 4. Next, let's plug in the, the LED. We've used these uh, previously. Um, so you can see there's a longer pin that goes to ground. This one on the left goes is red. The third one is blue. And the last one is green. So let's plug it in to the breadboard. And we're going to need to protect it with resistors. The green gets a 1K because it's very bright. And um, you don't want it overwhelming the other colors. Um, they suggest using uh, 560 ohm resistors for blue and green. I mean, sorry, red and blue. However, I don't have any, so I'm using 470s. So, um, add resistors that jump over the center line here. Um, and then red goes into uh, digital pin 3. Blue goes into digital pin 5 and green goes into digital pin 6. Lastly, let's connect the the cathode on the RGB LED to ground and then we should be good to go. Okay, uh, before we program the project we have to download the library. Um, so if you go to the website um, which again is part number 1334 we're going to need to find the library for TCS34725. Here you go. There's a link to it. So let's, let's download the zip. Go to downloads. Okay, um, so we've downloaded it. We're, we're going to rename it. We're just going to take off this master hyphen on the end. Um, and then we're going to go um, Documents, Arduino, Libraries. Okay, so we're going to stash the um, library here and then restart the um, restart the Arduino software. Okay, um, so let's uh, go into examples and find that library. Okay, we're going to do color view. And I think this is all ready to go. So let's just uh, let's see. Make sure we're plugged in and upload. Okay, let's look over the color view sketch. It has the wire library, which um, helps the Arduino communicate with 
uh, sensors like the color sensor we're using. Uh, then, of course, there's the Adafruit TCS34725 library. It defines um, the pins for the various colors. Here's a little, um, uh, a little function from the library that returns an error message if um, you, for instance, switched the clock and data pins, it will return that message in the serial monitor. Um, this is a, a mathematical function that um, creates RGB colors from the, um, the data coming in, which is not in a 0 to 255 range. The last part uh, not only sends data to the serial monitor to um, let you know what the R, G, and B levels are, uh, but it also um, it also turns on the the three elements of the RGB LED right here. Okay, well, playing around with it, you can detect subtle differences. Um, like I went to here's green. See how that changed a little bit. Here's orange. It's hard to really get a sense in this light the um, the color that the the LED is is shining. Here's more green. Um, maybe you'll just have to do it yourself so you can you can see the colors change. But it's kind of hard to see in this light. Um, so basically. Uh, uh, as I will show you in the next section, when you um, scan something, it returns certain values which you can monitor in the serial monitor, or you can use that data to do something else like drive an LED. That's it for lesson two. In lesson three, we're going to take a temperature and humidity sensor and hook it up to the Arduino. Thanks for watching.